up. Good at math. This is what a man looks like when he's divided by two. Hey, Chief. Do you have any crimes or miracles we can solve? Body's over there. And no. These yuckos are two of a kind. They've helped me on a few cases before. That one over there, mysterious childhood trauma, gave him amazing psychic empathy. He once told me my grandma, who's dead, is watching over me. And that one? That one's got brain two sizes too big. He's got any kind of degree you could think of, including astro-professionalism. Well, they must be pretty good at what they do. Good? All I know is that when they're around, I don't feel like getting anything done. This crime scene is disgusting. I'm feeding. I'm getting out of here. Fascinating. I feel that whoever died here was in a lot of pain. Brings me back to when. Here, have some water. I saw it again. Couldn't see his face. Come on, can never see his face. It's okay. I've been putting together a profile of the killer. 
Let's say the star is the victor. We found him neatly bifurcated. Someone came up to him from behind and pulled him apart with some type of garroting cloth, loin floss, from between his legs and upward. But what could pull upwards with such force as to split a man in two? I don't know. The technique of the wedging suggests a cruel and sexual profile of the wedger. A normal, well-adjusted young teen pulls straight up, possibly over. The goal is to place the band over the wedgie's head. Though well, this is only possible through the most elastic of undergarments. Our assailant, using a twisting sign technique, as demonstrated by the friction burns and the copious material found in the lower intestines. Our assailant's goal was not to make our victim look foolish, but to aimly stimulate them, while simultaneously pulling them apart. Coffee. Sure. You two with the FBI? Very nearly. Did you see anything last night? Fragman was in here, and the Varsity boys were giving him a hard time, as usual. Varsity boys? Yeah. Coach Haynes's boys from the high school. We'll be performing a routine wedgie diagnostic. Just give it all you got. Do your best. Dingman has volunteered to be your wedgie. No, I didn't. You wouldn't want to impede a federal investigation, would you, Dingman? These are the most vanilla wedgies I've ever seen. I'm not sensing any murderous intent either. And Dingman only reported slight anal stimulation. I am I'll take care of these. These, these are fine. Please just come with me.
What are you doing, Coach Haynes? Uh, uh, you know, just, um... Hello? What? <laughs> Breakaways. That was the chief. There's been another wedgie murder.